Greetings dear parents this is the group which has been made by the teachers of Holy Hearts Educational Academy for academic purpose benefits and smart utilization of time while the children waiting for lockdown we are hoping to begin the new session virtually and constructively i hope you all are well at home and enjoying holidays with your family I am Priyanka Jain is here to describe something about public property and private property Children do we take good care of our house we clean it daily why because our house is our private property so the property that belongs to any one person is called private property for example our clothes our toys our house next is public property the property that belongs to everyone not to a single person is called public property children like private property do we take good care of our public property also yes so we need to learn and remember the things how we can take care of our public property so the first is public parks parks See in every town or city there are number of public parks where you children wants to play every evening i know you all are missing it's a source for the joy of everyone so we should take care of our public parks also how so we should not pluck flowers and leaves we should not litter the public parks and we should plant more number of trees and plants next is public transport children we travel from one place to another place through buses trains aeroplanes so there are number of means of transport and we want to travel in comfortable and clean train buses etc so how we can clean it so the number of ways how we can take care of it we should not scribble or scratch on their seats we should not litter the public transport and we should not damage their windows and doors now children do you know from where government get fund for the maintenance or the building to build these public properties do you know yes through taxes through taxes taxes are the funds that raised for the maintenance of these public property so children taxes are the fees that were paid by us only or we people only are going to pay the money for the maintenance of these public property so we people only responsible for it so we should not damage it so any damage or loss for these public property is actually our loss so we should take care of these public property like public property there is one more property school property school properties our school provides us number of facilities like desk chairs to sit blackboard and chalks to write computer for learning so we should take care of these property children school provides us playground also so it's our duty to take care of it we should not pluck flowers from our playground and we should not damage any things like we should take care of our sports equipment and playground also children now the next is historical monuments historical monuments india is well known for historical monuments historical monuments is just a part of our cultural heritage so it's our duty to take care of these historical monuments we should not scribble or scratch anything on their walls we should not spoil the gardens around them because from other countries number of people visit these historical monuments 
and they admire their beauty. So it's our responsibility to take care of it. Children, I hope you understand these things. It's a part of our chapter, Caring and Sharing. Thank you and have a nice day.